guys, welcome to week five of Get Lean series. Team Geo, I'm so sorry, but I am disappointing you guys right now. Y'all picked the wrong person. Hey, the series isn't over yet, True. so we really don't know. We're just halfway through it at this point, okay? Yep. So take it easy, bro. If you missed last week's video, then let me catch you up. We did a weigh-in in the morning. Bart, at that point, had lost 10 pounds. I had lost about six, all right? I'll, I'll, I'll round it up, I'll say seven. What? <laughs> I lost about 11 then. <laughs> okay, and if you've been following this series since the beginning, then you know that there is a punishment component to this. We let you guys pick what the punishments were. We picked the ones that we felt were the most punishy. Is that a word? Punishiers? Yeah. The punishiest? Yeah. yeah, no one wants to do them. Yeah. So for Bart, this one I actually really like, and I'm actually looking forward to it because I know he's gonna lose, is you're gonna have to be a sushi girl. Do you know what that is? Yes. I okay, do. for those of you that don't know what a sushi girl is, it's Bart laying on a table in the center, a bunch of people around, this dude's naked, gonna have a bunch of sushi all over his body. Nobody wants to see that. I picture like a bunch of ginger in my mouth and then the chopsticks are in my nose and then people have to come and like eat sushi off of me. You guys picked that. I can't wait to see it. Now for me, you guys are pretty fucked up. You guys picked that I get a permanent tattoo that you guys pick for me. I like that idea. Um, so what I want you guys to do right now is go to the comments, write whatever tattoo idea you want me to get in case I lose, which right now I'm not in the best position, but trust me when it's time to work my ass off and I'm not gonna lose Team Geo, I'm not gonna disappoint you. So don't forget, go in the comments, write down what this tattoo idea is gonna be, and then we'll like pick the top three and we'll let you guys pick the final one. And in this video, the loser is gonna share what she's gonna try to do to catch up to the winner. I'm not gonna lie. I am definitely salty because I have been working my ass off. This guy has actually had more cheat meals than I have. No, 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 I don't really understand what happened, but trust me when I tell you, I'm gonna take it. Trust me. What up, Team Geo? Welcome. First of all, I want to apologize for letting you down <laughs> on our second check-in uh, midway through the weight cutting. I am a little bit behind. I'm only a few pounds behind Bart, which means I'm currently the loser. So I wanted to make a video to show you guys what my strategies are gonna be to catching up and eventually beating Bart, okay? Because we're gonna beat Bart. We're gonna do this shit. I don't take competitions lightly. I wanna win. Okay, so I'm ready to work out, and one of the first things that I do, I always take my supplements. So I'm gonna take some pre-workout, some strength stack, and some multivise right now. I'll interchange it with some greens um, and our immunity support, but today this is what I'm taking. Normally, I do not track this, right? I'm just like, oh, it's a scoop, a scoop, and a scoop. Hey, it's no big deal. I don't know why I sounded like I had like a Brooklyn slash New York accent. No idea, it's early in the morning probably a little bit sleep deprived. Um, but looking at it, I should start tracking. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I could be so precise and to the T because right now, any little pound slash fat shedding is what I need. I need the upper hand to curve this competition in my favor. So our pre-workout um, has 40 calories. That's of which come from carbs. Okay, two grams of carbs. So I am gonna track it because um, I do try to hit, hit my carbs precisely. Like I'm probably off by maybe five grams, but this right here would set me over, right? So I need to track this. Our strength stack is 15 calories, two of which, uh, two grams come from um, carbs. And then our multivis. Is zero calories, so we're good there. So that's something I haven't been doing in the past. I haven't been tracking it because I'm like, oh, whatever. Like a, few, a couple calories here, or there aren't gonna hurt me because I'm not snacking. I am very strict with my diet. Like um, I do a lot of meal prepping. I don't snack, you know, between meals. Um, but because again, this is a competition, I have to be as calculated and precise as possible and I need any advantage over Bart at this point because we can't have him win, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so today is lower body. We're gonna start off with some treadmill. Then I'm gonna do single leg step down, goblet box squat, applying lateral leg drop. And then I'm gonna do a daily max for my um, squat. Then I'm gonna do some toss squats, leg press. I'll probably switch this out for front squats, um, pogo jump, kettlebell swing, and broad jumps. And then to ensure um, that I hit my 8,000 steps, which has been prescribed by our um, macros coach, um, I'm actually gonna do more steps than that. I'm gonna try to aim for 10,000 a day, but don't tell Bart, because that's one of my advantages here, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit more walking than he does. Okay, so I just wanted to come on here real quick and brag that I'm doing all the maximum prescribed reps that is in the program which I don't think Bart's doing any of that. I'm like sweating like a freaking pig over here. And I think that's melting off all of these fat calories. Fine, I know that's not how science works, but that's what my heart tells me and it makes me feel good. So I'm just trying to put out extra hard today because we, we can't let Team Bart win, you know what I mean? We just can't let it win. Okay, back at the office, I had a crazy workout did all of the reps that were prescribed, because there's usually a range, it'll say from like 10 to 15, so I'm like, oh, I gotta be Bart, so I'm gonna try to do 15, so that I could burn all my calories as early in the day as possible, or as many calories. Um, like I said, in the office, I did pack my lunch. I go with different um, meal prep companies. I'm trying this new one, Mega Fit Meals. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, but when I'm actually looking for meal preps, um, I'm trying to keep my protein two to one, but now I'm trying to go a little bit more three to one. So something like this, where it's eight grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. Eight, eight, 16, yeah, that's it. Three times the protein. I'm not really good at math, so sorry if it's not. Um, whereas before I'm like, oh, okay, if a meal is roughly around 10 to like 15 grams of fat, I can afford that, but not right now, guys, not right now. Um, another thing is protein's always hard for me to hit uh, just because it's so much. I think right now I have to hit about 165 in protein if, or maybe 170. Um, so I try to hit my proteins as early on in the day as possible and with as many whole foods as possible um, just because, I don't know, I just feel like it's better. But the thing that I love is that Barbell Brigade does have its own subs that we hand uh, that we formulated and handpicked all the ingredients so I know that nothing but goodness is going into my body. So if I have to go the supplement route, I'm so confident and so down to go with the Barbell Brigade products, not to throw shit on anyone else, but I just don't really like all the other stuff that's on the market. Um, okay, with that little tangent I was trying to get at, I do pack uh, light and fit Greek yogurt with me. It's 12 grams of protein with um, I think about two grams of fat, if not less, so that's not bad. And this is right here, one of my little indulgence. I love to indulge on this, because again, it's high protein, but okay, this one's 2.5 fat with six grams of protein. This one, I might opt out and not go with it. I might save this till the very, very end. Um, another thing I'm gonna try to do so that I can focus on you know, the most accurately possible, even though that's kind of really hard because every single scale is calib calibrated differently. But I'm gonna try to wrap up all of my eating by 7 p.m. so that I, you know, since I go to bed at 10, I can digest everything. And then when I wake up in the morning, I can wake up fully digested and leaner so that I can really see where my weight is at. Because sleep, eating late, eating high sodium, drinking too much water late at night, there's so many factors that go into um, you know, what you'll be weighing like in the morning. So I don't really lean too hard on the scale, but right now that's all I really have to look at. So I'm just gonna try to dial it in as much as possible, but still remember that it's not the most accurate. So, gonna get to work now. Gonna put this in the fridge. Um, oh, got some Perrier, cause I'm just so tired of drinking water. So I like to get some variation. Um, but yeah, put this in the fridge, get some work done, and I'll check in in a bit. So midday now, and part of my plan is to get more steps in than Bart, and just get more steps in just for the sake of the cardio, and making sure that I can keep my calories at bay, um, and that I'm burning more calories. So one of the plans is every two hours I'm gonna get up, away from my desk, out of the office, and I'm gonna walk around for at least 
10 minutes. So that's what I'm doing right now, getting my 10 minutes in. And 10 minutes we can spare, right? Because most of us get on our phone and we spend like 10, 15, 20 minutes on Instagram anyway. So I can do that as I'm walking and I'm burning my calories. So let's go, let's get it done. Okay, 10 minutes done. Let's see where my steps are at. I am at 6,537 steps. That's fucking awesome. Not even halfway through the day. It's only noon. Haven't had lunch yet. I'm off to a, a go right start. See you later, team bar. We're gonna take this. So annoying, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm back at the office from my little 10 minute walk and it's not even one yet and I'm already at 6,000. 673 steps. It's looking like 12,000 steps for me today. It's gonna be easy. See you later, Team Bart. Okay, so 9,857 steps. Currently taking a break from uh, working. I'm about to wrap things up. I wanna hit the 10,000 step mark before I go home. Um, I am eating a little snack. I did get hungry from lunchtime, which was at noon, to now, which is like three or four. Um, Greek yogurt, you can't go wrong. High in protein, low in fat. This right here has 12 grams of protein. Protein's gonna keep me strong, keep my muscles growing and full. Um, so I have to make sure that I stay precise when it comes to hitting that specific um, macro. But yeah, once I go home, gonna start cooking some dinner. That's gonna be interesting because it's all gonna be strategic. Let me explain when I get home. One of the rule changes that the fans are so interested in, of course, is the three-point value this year. So it's gonna add, add another dimension. It's gonna be exciting. I'm packing up, getting ready to go home, and usually a little indulgence of mine that I love to snack on because it's the closest I can get to eating unlimited amount of candy because if you know me, you know I love my candy. I don't like a bunch of desserts. I don't have to eat ice cream. I don't have to eat chocolate cake or cake or pastries or any of that stuff. I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong. I will not say no to it if it's offered to me, but I don't really crave it. What I do crave are, it's candy. It's candy and it's the sour candy and the strips and the, the Sour Patch Kids and like, oh. Uh, what are they called, Gushers? Oh my God, okay. Well, this is my guilty pleasure, but I'm just gonna stay away from it because each one of these has five calories and sometimes I'm like, um, it's okay, I'm not gonna track it. Let me get one gum and then once the flavor runs out, I'm like, I'll just throw in another one and it's two. And then these little things are possibly the ones that are adding up and the ones that are like preventing me from beating part right now. So I'm just gonna lay off of it for now until I can get ahead in this race. Once I'm ahead of it, then we'll go back to this. But for now, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm home now, actually technically my mom's place. Um, when we come out to California, we stay out here. But I'm home now and usually dinner time, I always, always look forward to it because that's when I start making all my little concoctions. Like, um, for example, I have grilled chicken ready to go. We found some like low carb, well not low carb, low fat I should say, noodles. Look at this, 0.5 noodles. And I start getting really creative, right? And then I start adding like, not to my dinner, but I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna have a little bit of fruit. But because everything is so vital right now, and honestly, I'm not doing a bodybuilding show, so I don't need to be this precise, but I do need to be this precise because I am competitive as fuck. And I have to win, I cannot disappoint. I hate disappointing myself. And of course, I'm never gonna disappoint you. So instead of getting all fancy with my dinner tonight, I'm gonna play it safe. I don't wanna measure incorrectly. I already have my Mega Fit meals on lock, ready to go. Just also wanna put out a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Mega Fit meals by any means. Back at home, um, I, we always opt for Foodie Fit because you can actually walk in there and get it. My point in just sharing that is that I have meal prep um, ready to go on hand. Honestly, I wanted to eat fish today. But for this week only, I'm gonna be super strict and see where that gets me. Um, because again, I'm not gonna lose a baby. So let's get this dinner in. 
Um, I'm about at 11,000 steps, getting close to hitting that 12,000 mark. It's only five o'clock. <laughs> it's gonna be great. This is gonna be great. So I'm gonna keep this up for the rest of the week and I'm sure I'm gonna get back on track. I am sure I'm gonna get back on track. Okay, so I wanna show you my macros. They're actually pretty open right now. I um, track on my fitness pill right now. I have um, 114 carbs left, 32 fat left, 133 protein left. I'm not gonna sweat it too much because um, when I do buy my meal prep, I try to get a variation of super low in fat to not the lowest in fat. So I get a little bit higher fat. This is gonna be a higher fat meal. This is gonna be a turkey fiesta. I don't know if you can see that. Nope, you cannot see it. Okay, I suck, sorry. But yeah, this one's gonna be 16 grams of fat, 39 grams of protein, 27 carb, only 400 calories. So I'm gonna microwave that. Um, so that should put me at 100 grams of protein. Um, so then I can um, hit up some barbell protein with my favorite. This one I do get low fat and I do get 2% reduced fat. Again, so I could have variation when I'm trying to fill my macros. So, but they're both 13 grams. Barbell Brigade protein is, um, I think it's 25 grams of protein. Yep, 25 grams of protein. So that right there, if I do two scoops, oh, that's gonna be way too much. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be 38 grams. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over in protein. How amazing is that? But I don't wanna do that. Usually I do do that and I don't wanna do that. I wanna hit it precisely. And we all know why. Well, as I wait for my meal to get warmed up, might as well get those steps in. Look at that, closing out my macros really nicely. I'm about to take some horchata. One scoop. Zero carbs, zero fat, 25 protein, and not for breakfast, for dinner. And then I'm gonna do Fair Life. But with this Fair Life, I was eyeballing it before, but now, is this the one? Yep, zero fat, six carb, 13. Let's do that. How much more do I have left? 65 carb, 11 fat. This is a really nice ratio, 28. I might do a double scoop. Let's see how that changes. Ah, right, you know what, I'll leave it open. The night is still young. We don't know what it might bring us. But yeah, I gotta measure this, gonna do that. Um, 11,000 steps out of my 8,000 total that you guys could see there. Whoa, can you see it? There it is, that's my goal. I don't count the exercise that's so off because I don't put anything in there. I run my program, as you guys know. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night. That's it, those are gonna be my tactics. Um, measure everything out, like literally everything. Don't have my fruit snack. Don't have the bubble gums on the side because you're like, eh, it's gonna be okay, it's not that big of a deal. And again, I do wanna emphasize that tracking this strictly for what my goal is, is not necessary. Like I'm not gonna do um, a bodybuilding bikini contest, so I don't need my skin to look like tight to my muscles. No, I'm not trying to get there. Um, if I was in that direction, for sure I need to measure everything out precisely but eyeballing it for my goal is fine just know that this week i'm trying to catch back up to bart because he can't win baby um yeah and then on, on that note thank you for tuning in and i won't disappoint you i'm gonna try my fucking ass off and i've been trying my fucking ass off and i'm not gonna stop and we do understand that the scale is not the determining factor we are gonna get a dexa scan at the end kind of like at the beginning that we did um, we're gonna get it at the end to determine who lost the most amount of body fat and a scale is not gonna tell you that um, so right now just know that 
You know, we're just using it as a marker to talk shit. That's all it really is. It's a lot of fun. Um, so at the end of the day, this is all fun and games. Honestly, when you think about it, there's gonna be no real loser, right? Because we're both gonna look fucking awesome. And all of this hard work that we're putting into the gym, trying to grow these muscles are gonna show. And I'm so excited to see that. So yeah, I still gotta talk shit though. I still gotta be part, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give it my fucking all. And I appreciate every single one of you that is cheering us on more so me and I appreciate and I'm so proud of everyone that's running this program and going I don't know what the fuck I'm doing but I'm gonna do something about you know how I feel I'm so proud of you so keep it up don't lose faith in yourself don't get unmotivated stay disciplined stay focused it's only 12 weeks look at how long you're gonna live your life 12 weeks in the span of your lifetime is nothing you got this stay strong stay committed do you do not disappoint yourself let's go Bye.